In Horizon Cloud Next Gen, we've separated user identity from machine identity. In an earlier video, we showed you how to register a domain for machine identity. In this video, we'll go through the process of connecting Horizon Cloud to an identity provider for user identity. Separating machine identity from user identity offers flexibility. For user identity, you can use either Azure Active Directory, soon to be renamed Entra ID, or Workspace ONE Access. In this video, we use Workspace ONE Access. For either case, you need to first connect the identity provider to an on-premises Active Directory. For Workspace ONE Access, we showed you how to do this in several of the earlier videos in this series. And you need to be an administrator in Workspace ONE Access, which is what you are if you signed up for a free trial. Now that I've gotten these prerequisites out of the way, I can log into Cloud Services, launch the Workspace ONE service, and manage the Horizon Cloud service. There are two ways to get to this wizard for connecting to the identity provider. One way is to click select on the Horizon Cloud service tile. And then it's the second task you see. Click identity and access to start the wizard. Another way to get to the wizard is to click integrations in the navigation pane, click manage on the identity and access tile, and then click the identity provider tab. On the wizard page for identity provider, select Workspace ONE Access Cloud. For information about the other choices for identity provider, see the documentation topic called Connecting Your Identity Provider. For tenant subdomain, you can make something up, but whatever it is needs to then be the subdomain for the broker URL that end users will use to access their apps and desktops. Now for the Workspace ONE Access Tenant FQDN, we'll go over to the Services Navigation Waffle and select Workspace ONE, and then go to the Workspace ONE Access tile and click Manage. Now in the Workspace ONE Access Console, just go up to the URL and copy the FQDN from there. Now I'll go back to the Horizon Universal Console, click Connect. Workspace ONE Access is connected, yes. And if we scroll down, it says Identity and Access Completed. In our next video, we'll cover the last little task to do with Identity and Access, and that is setting up single sign-on so that users get prompted for credentials only once. For more Horizon Cloud Technical Resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com. <laughs>